What's up guys? Uh, I got another amp test here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing this Hyphonics Brutus BRZ 2400 1D. I'm going to be putting this on my dyno setup and seeing what it really does for power. Uh, it's rated at 2400 watts at 1 ohm. And uh, <clears throat> one thing I'm going to be trying to do more, I haven't really done before, is show some uh, gut shots of these amps. So. This is actually laid out really nice uh, inside. And uh, one thing I noticed as soon as I opened this up is this is actually the same exact uh, board as the SQ2200D. And I'm going to be getting one of those in here later in the week. So check back and you know, you'll be able to compare the differences. But to me they look identical. They may use a different color board. I think the SQ uses a red board instead of a blue board. But other than that, they are identical. So same layout, they use the same power supply driver board, same power supply FET, same number of them, uh, same dual power supplies, uh, same capacitors. Uh, this is exactly the same. I mean, the layout is identical. Same output driver board. So the inputs are in the same spot. The speaker terminals are in the same spot. It, it's the same exact amp. So, this is rated at 2400 watts at 1 ohm and the SQ is rated at 2200 watts. So either the SQ is underrated or this is overrated. So I guess we'll find out. All right, I've got this set up for a 2 ohm load right now. I'm going to do certified power and the reason I'm going to do 2 ohm load is uh, I'm going to do 2 ohm, 1.6 and 1 ohm. Um, the reason I'm going to do that is I'm going to kind of account for box rise. So if you're putting this in your car and you're getting some box rise, uh, you might be up around the 2 ohm range. So this is the power you're likely to see. So, um, so this is going to be a 2 ohm certified run. Okay, so 776 at 12.87 volts. All right, so not too too bad. Um, I can't remember what this is rated at at 2 ohm. I want to say it's like 800, so um, something like that, 8850. I could look up the specs. Uh, so it's it's pretty close. So I'm gonna give this a chance to recharge the batteries a little bit, and uh, I'm gonna retune it for a 1.6 ohm load, and we'll go ahead and run that. All right, I'm all retuned for a 1.6 ohm test. This is certified 1.6 ohm. So 908 watts, a little bit more, not a crazy amount more. All right, so next is going to be one ohm. Going to give this a chance to recharge. We we got down to 12.95 volts that time. Um, so I'm going to let the batteries top right off. Make sure I get a halfway decent voltage at one ohm because this is going to draw quite a bit more current. So uh, hold on just one second, and I'll uh, retune the amp. All right, here we go. This is a one ohm certified test. Hopefully, we can start to see some decent power. All right, so eleven hundred and thirteen watts, twelve point eight one volts. Still not anywhere near rated yet. That's at one ohm certified. So this thing is way off if they were doing certified power. Um, let's do some uncertified runs and see if we can get any closer to rated. So we're back at two ohm. So this is going to be two ohm uncertified. So now this is going to stop at clipping. Should see quite a bit more power. It's 
So 1,080 at 2 ohms. So quite a quite an increase. All right, let's go ahead and uh, recharge the batteries just a little bit. We dropped down to 12.48, so it's quite a draw. Um, and I'll wait till the batteries charge back up, and we'll try a 1.6 ohm uncertified test. There's 1275 at 12.25 volts, 1.6 ohm, uncertified. Next will be a 1 ohm uncertified test. Fourteen ninety four at eleven point eight five volts. So it's drawing quite a bit. I'm only using three AGM batteries for this, so I do drop voltage pretty quick, but uh, it's still a, a pretty good result, I guess. So fourteen ninety four uncertified at one ohm. So still not anywhere near rated yet. So hopefully dynamic. This thing can pull out some uh, some power. It'll keep the voltage up, so it'll have an advantage there. So let's go ahead and try a few dynamic runs. All right, let's go ahead and do some dynamic tests here. Let me change the track. So this is going to be dynamic at 2 ohms. This should be its best shot at making power um, is dynamic. So it's going to be a little bit less strain on the batteries, and uh, the, so the voltage should stay up. This will kind of simulate music in your vehicle. All right, so here goes two ohms dynamic. So thirteen twenty-five at two ohm, at three point five, thirteen point five eight volts. So not too too bad. Uh, let me get the voltage back up just a little bit more. We'll do a 1.6 ohm run and then a 1 ohm. Fifteen thirty one at thirteen point four two volts. I'm getting a little worried this thing's not gonna make anywhere near its rated power. Alright, let me switch over to one ohm. This is it. This should be the final test, see if this amp makes anywhere near rated power. Two thousand fifty five. Not quite. That was at thirteen point one eight volts. Just to give this thing the benefit of the doubt, I am gonna let the batteries charge up fully and I'm gonna run one more dynamic test at one ohm. See if I can squeeze any more out of this. Cause I'm kinda sad that this didn't even do um, like I said the AQ twenty two hundred is the eight, same exact amp and that's rated at twenty two hundred watts. So I'm surprised that this didn't make 2200 watts. All right, so the battery should be fully charged now. 
we're hovering right around 14.3 volts right now. We'll go ahead and start this track over again and see if we can get any more out of this. Helps if I started on the right track. So 2109. So I don't think there's any more in this amp. So this is the Hyphonics Brutus BRZ 2401D, rated at 2400 watts, did 2109, and that was it. So stay tuned, I'm going to have that uh, SQ2200D in here, hopefully tomorrow. So I assume it's going to do exactly the same power, very, very close I'm sure. and. Uh, We'll just have to wait and see. So, looks like a fail for this one. This is actually, I think, the first amp I've had on my dyno that's failed. Uh, I've done some real, real world tests with a Planet Audio that failed, but I think this is actually the first one that I've tested on this bench that hasn't done its rated power. So, a little disappointed. Doesn't mean it's a bad amp. I mean, these are pretty cheap. You can pick these up really cheap. So, for the money they cost, I mean, you're getting a good deal of power it's built pretty good I just wish they didn't rate it at 2400 watts when it really does 2100 now I'm sure their ratings are at 14.4 volts so yeah at 14.4 volts we're at like 13 and a quarter volts right now so at 14.4 uh, it might be up there I still don't think it's going to do 2400 though I think it's going to do where the SQ is rated at 2200 watts so all right, stick around. Uh, I should have the SQ video up, hopefully in a few days, and uh, we'll see what it does. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to add this little clip. Um, I got a couple comments on a forum from one of the other videos I posted saying that my dummy load must be off because it did it didn't do the power that people thought it should do. Uh, and since this one didn't make its rated power, I just want to show people that my dummy load is is perfect. Um, the impedances or the resistance that it's reading is exactly what it should be. So right now it's off basically so it's 15.6 ohm. Should be right around 16. I don't care about that so it doesn't need to be accurate. So let me go ahead and select a load here. We'll start at 1 ohm. Okay so this is 1 ohm test. You can see that it's exactly 1 ohm. All right, so I'll go back out. We'll go to a two uh, 1.6 ohm test. 1.6 ohms. Oops. Okay, let's go to a two ohm. Two ohms, and let's go up even to four ohm. Let's try this. Four ohm. And 8 ohm I don't really care about, but as you can see, they're all correct. It reads exactly what it should be. So my tests are about as accurate as it gets. So other than I do lose a little bit of voltage when I'm doing some big amps, but that's actually more accurate because that's what's going to happen in your car. It's not going to stay at exactly 14.4 volts like these amps are usually rated at. Um, it's probably not even going to stay in the 13 volt range. I mean, most people with a big amp are going to drop into the 12 volts. You might not see it on your, you know, voltage gauge in your gauge cluster, but that's about as inaccurate as it gets. So even a multimeter is pretty slow to react. So these meters are actually very, very fast to react to voltage changes. So this is about as accurate as it gets. So I just wanted to clear that up, and uh, thanks for watching.